Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial in Revit Global Knowledge. In the tutorial, I will show you how to create parametric trust in Revit. I think it would be interesting for this tutorial because as you can see, here is my previous parametric trust that I have created one that we will work through together in this project. Anyway, it was first time to watching my tutorial or first time to visiting to visiting to my channel. You can hit subscribe button below and turn on notification for more about Revit because I make a lot of content about Revit for every day. Okay, anyway, let's follow along together for the tutorial. I would like to close the project first because we need to jump into family concept so much to create our workshop here. Only I load into our project here. I just scroll here first. And now we need our Autodesk interface. We need to go to you here for family tab here. Go to English tab here, then finding for conceptual math. Just click here, then open here. All right, now we need our 3D here. So I want by draw that I need to go to my sound elevation here. Just double click here then now i need to draw here by draw that i need to go to create tab here then i'm using this shape here just like this one then i can start draw i think i start draw something like this Okay, I think something like this and this guy start from here until here. It has got a couple of time. Okay, this guy I want to adjustment first. Okay, now it's time to create form. We just like our line here, select so these two guys, then go to select here one. Need to create form, solid form, and this one I need to create form also. Go to jumping back to my 3D here. Okay, this one I need to adjustment a little bit. This one also. Okay, I think it's balanced. So I need to divide first. first. Hit a tab key on my keyboard, then go to device surface here, like this one. And on my property panel here, I need to change pattern here. I'm changing it to rectangle one. And then for layout here, I need to change it to fit to the stand and I just give it to 2 meter. And this one also. Okay, the last one. Need to divide surface first. Drop down, finding for rectangle here. Then select for this one, change it to fit this stand. And this one we change it to two hundred millimeter. And this one also for vertical grid we change it to two hundred millimeter also. Okay, so now we need to create our trust component by create that. I need to go to family here, file here, and I just drop down, go to new, finding for family, go to English here. Okay, it's one metric generic model pattern that you we need to use in our component here. Double click. Before I start to pressing point, I need to edit size first. For horizontal spacing, I change it to 2 meter and I keep back and copy. This one, I change it to 2 meter like this one and hit apply. Okay, so now it start to press our point here. I need to go to reference here. Select point here, set a work plan. Select the horizontal one. 
then just like this one set a work plan again select horizontal select this one again set a work plan select horizontal and press again and the last one hit a scale couple time so now i want to assign for offset parametric for offset so i just like all like this one and go to filter here check none just take for reference point here it's apply then okay in my proxy panel here you will see for offset point and we can assign for parametric just like this one and create new parameter here then rename for offset just say for offset point hit okay go to my family type here then for here is our parameter that we get one i change it to two meter hit apply and okay okay now it's time to model our point here go to line here and don't touch 3d here don't forget to touch 3d snapping start from here one two three four five and I start from the center here one until here and another one from here until here and start from here like this like this hit us a couple time okay so now we need to assign for in reference line first i just like all like this let me turn around okay this one i need to is in reference line just like tick here so from there i can create form on our component here and the top one also i need to change to in reference line and now i want to create for glass glass first before we start create our steel component so i need to select here one then go to create form here solid form just to click for the first one and for the thickness i change it to 10 millimeter and assign for a new material here create a new parameter material just say um here just hit okay go to family tie here then here is my material just load in the three point here like this one and now we jump into our material library and here is our glass i just double click here and hit apply then hit okay and the bottom one i also want to create for glass make it for uh quite in, make it interesting and create form again like the what this one and change the thickness for 10 millimeter go to material and finishing here just like this one and just like here just hit okay then now i want to hiding element for glass i just like all like this go to filter check none take only curtain panel apply okay go to the glass seat here and hiding for element now i want to create set by create set i need to go to reference point here select point and start from here and go to circle here start set a plan and i can show that okay so i just like here start from rectangle here start here like this one make it like this and assign for parameter here we need to give dimension first assign for new parameter here give it for still size change this one to 200 millimeter So now to need to copy just like the center point here like this select my circle here then go to copy here and multiple start from here until one two and three hit a scale couple time 
just like here then pick a new house here like this one and here I need to resize I want it on the 50 and there also Okay, now it's time to create form. I just like here one, it's like this guy one, two, three, four, and the last one. Drop down, create solid form. Okay, and this two also. Okay, so now everything is look fine. It's time to load into our project. Just load into our project here like this one. And go into my 3D here. I select this one like this. And select this one also. Drop down for finding my family that I have created one. is family 2. And you can sell here and rename. And this one, I just a quick tutorial. I just leave it like this. So go to family. And now our part is generating. I think we'll take a few seconds after generating to our parametric drafts here uh, let's see the final result together anyways we waiting together for this result okay now 11 25 49 and there we go so now here is what we have finished our parameter drafts here and of course you can change for side still side here and as you can see, we got some problem as because this one is uh, not connection. Anyway, we can show that I just like the whole structure here like this. Then go to boulder tile here, change this one to empty. It's apply, then will be disappear, as you can see. And this one also. Okay, so now time to load into our project. Control and on my keyboard for new project here. Drop down finding for metric architecture template. Just hit OK. Now we are jumping to our architecture template. And I come back to that guy again for 3D model here. Then load into my project here. Just, just click it to project 1. It's OK. I think we'll be take a few seconds again after the file loading into our project. Okay, so now it's time to press, just hit close here. So I press here something around here like this one. Still generating. <coughs> so I'm going to my camera here. Then I start plus here, like this one. I need to resize for crop view first. Turn on for shadow. As you can see, our parameters is running properly, and the curve here also fo also follow. Okay, let's jump to 3D model here.
Okay guys, I think it's pretty much for this tutorial. I hope you get that point and you have learned more about this tutorial. You got learn more about this tutorial. Uh, again, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe button below and turn on notification for more about it with your subscriber and your like and your comment is motivate me to do more with all about it with. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.